Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Creators Inspire series. Today, uh, this is me, Terry. I'll be your host, and we have a special guest, Oreo. Oreo will also be hosting with me. <laughs> she doesn't seem too pleased. She's just like <laughs> staring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in today we'll have um mamase mama masa i like to just call her masa and masa and i will be talking about redefining body image oh she just got on hi masa uh redefining body image and attaining self-confidence um this topic is very important because a lot of the times we are not you know happy with the way we look and we sometimes have negative self-talk about our bodies you know our stomach um the way our eyebrows are shaped the way our ears look the way our nose our eyes you know you name it <laughs> or we don't have enough hair or hair is too short hair is too long uh so many things happen when we you know try to talk about the body so i'm gonna bring masa on masa if you could request to join and um we'll just get right into the topic it looks like oreo decided to not be on camera she turned her back <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> that's not nice oreo we're live. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Hi, Masa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. You look so pretty. Oh, oh I love you. Shut up. It looks so calm and serene. <laughs> this is this is my my corner. This is my spot. Like this is where yeah. I, I usually pray. Uh, it looks so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, and you're welcome. Time, please come yes. and <laughs> beam yourself over. Let's just ignore the whole Corona blah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, how are you doing? How are you doing today? I'm. I'm good. I'm. I'm happy that I'm that I'm here with you. Like Great. this. This is very like. I am. I am getting used to talk. Um. Mm. Like. I am I'm still trying to get used to go live myself. Yes. Sometimes I do, but I don't save it. I'm still mm -hmm. in the, you know, like somewhere between letting go of control and surrender. Like I know how it mm -hmm. works here and now it's about you know, to surrender. bring it back in so that, you know, I I I've, I've seen you gone live a couple of times and I feel like you do a pretty good job. You know, sometimes as you said it's about surrendering and letting go. And you do, you know, when you do that, you'll see how your true self kind of shine through what you need to say. Yeah, just, exactly. It starts flowing. So, yeah. so okay. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm sure it's like late. What time is it? No, now? It's, it's it's super chill. It's seven oh three. Seven oh three. That's late compared to now. It's two o'clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's but it's still totally like like chill compared to a to a midnight session or something like that. You know. Yes, that's true. That is absolutely true. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining. Um, I do <laughs> like for you to share a little bit about yourself for those of you um just coming on the live. Thank you for joining in. And you know, Masa is an intuitive healer, shaman, and I would like her to explain what a shaman is because not many people know what a shaman is, yeah. and also a storyteller. And she is, she says she's a high priestess in the making, but I don't think so. I think she's already a high, pri high priestess. So I'll let her explain oh, herself. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'll let her explain yeah. herself who she is. So, Masa, please share with the audience who you are. I'm gonna try to make long story short because yes, I've been yes. on this journey journey to figure out who I am, what I am, like, what is my mission here on planet Earth, you know, mm -hmm. so, so this self healing journey, this, this figuring out, you know, like, I am that I am, you know, like, I am also yeah. a philosopher, you know, and, and, yeah. and, and I was looking so forward to be like, in this 
safe space with you because you an author you know and that's so inspiring like the other day i was watching your video when you've been in amsterdam where you were where you were representing your book and i yeah. you know like like since since i can like think about i'm always like i want to write my book you know and i <laughs> and i love having you as a reflection because it's so inspiring you know so so what Thank i you. realized is that we are all mirrors and reflections of each other absolutely absolutely and, and because i am a storyteller so a shaman is a storyteller also mm -hmm. like a cantadora so mm -hmm. when you share your stories or stories of others you know in a spiritual way also and then like when you when you feel it like when you have this special connection so i have learned to rewrite scripts like this is what what shamanism is also so you you look at the life script of someone you know like from the big picture and then yeah. and, and then you do also the shadow work you know so it's not only about light working it's mm -hmm. also about embracing the shadow because it's it's the yin yang yes so, it is yeah so so this um body hair don't care movement with the yeah. self love journey you know like mm -hmm. this this just happened like it It didn't happen just just yesterday, so it started when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. you know, and um, because I I grew up in Germany and I have these so-called Middle Eastern roots, so I was born in Iran, so yeah. so so the body hair of of Iranian women is 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 different than than like. European people like the North European people like the Germans for example I mm -hmm. I don't like to use the labels but sometimes sometimes when you say it it's easier for for people to you know like to know what I'm talking about but I'm still trying to let go of labels you know like at the same time I think we all are on that journey of trying to let go of labels and trying to you know find ways to not yeah attach a certain type of description to different people yeah exactly yeah. so 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 this body hair journey that i've uh, experienced was really it, it it started as an activism uh-huh it was really about because it's nature mm -hmm. so when 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 my hair grows on my body and i don't want to remove it who are you 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 to tell me if it's right or wrong what i do with my hair on my body like you know <laughs> that is true that is true okay. and i'm so i'm so glad you went straight into the body hair don't care movement because for everyone who's watching masa started this you know body hair don't care and it went on to shana i see shana also started on her channel and it's shana's birthday happy birthday shana happy birthday. <laughs> Yeah, we for those of you who don't know who Shana, you can check out my previous video maybe two weeks ago with Shana Singleton, you know, herpes advocate. She she's awesome. Yeah, and she, she knew she knew that I was kind of like yeah. I was I was kind of scared, but I knew that I had to jump. And then she was like, "I'm with you," you know. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then and then she was with me, and then I knew that I'm not alone in this. So so it's so beautiful when we can all you know like have have each other's hands you know and then you know like when, oh, when jill is, jumps it's like you're not alone in this and jill is in the chat oh jill is here hi jill hi jill so if it wasn't for jill masa and i wouldn't be connecting and shana and i would be connecting and heather and all these different people would not be connecting so praise the queen jill <laughs> she's here <laughs> why don't you say that Yeah. So so going back to the body here don't care. Um you know, you said it started off when you were a teenager and I can see that because that's when I think as a teenager we start to uh treat ourselves a little bit we started dress dressing differently and a lot of the times, you know, where I grew up in Jamaica, we didn't really shave our legs. We don't shave our legs and you know, maybe our underarms we don't shave our legs, but when I came here to the US I you know I was told oh you can't go outside with your legs not shaved it's not appealing and it's unattractive and I used to find that like crazy so every time I would go in the summertime comes around I'm like I would make sure that my you know I go and get yeah. like a waxing yeah. 
wax off all the hair. And I was like, why do I need to remove this anyway? <laughs> who, who, and it, it's, it's a societal thing that we think that, you know, the same thing with the plucking of our eyebrows. Because some I people have... Since, since, since February. You haven't, like, plucked, you haven't plucked since February? No, let me see if you can really really yeah i'm the same way too i i just been painting over my yeah so so i yeah. really like i, I see I, I see right here yeah yeah and and i started to love it yes because um to me it is kind of like a very peaceful rebellion like yes. i love i love activism i love to do something that is totally going against like being normal and I don't do it on person. It's just more about embracing authenticity, you yeah. know, because like who, who is the media to tell me if I'm beautiful or not, you know, and mm -hmm. because I have struggled so much and I've seen people struggle so much and I don't like how, how the media is having power over our happiness. Mm -hmm. So, so when I was doing like removing the body hair professionally in a waxing salon, you know, like the more people were telling me that they think that it's disgusting and ugly and bad, the more I was like, but why though? It's not, it's, it's, it's only hair, like chill, you know, like, yes. I don't, and, and then the, 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 I don't know, like, like the shaming, you know, and the body uh, shaming, yes, yeah, exactly. So judgmental and so mean. And, and, and I don't understand how, how people can enjoy being so mean, you know, like bullying others and saying, you know, like this is disgusting and, 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 and ugly and wrong. So, mm -hmm. so this activism is really about love yourself unconditionally. Yeah. And, and you know, I have to admit, uh, you know, when I was much younger, I was one of those people who used to think, like, when I see a, 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 a woman walking down the street with body hair all over her, you know, her legs and everything, I, I would say disgusting. But That's then you too see, heavy. I, 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 but you see, that was my younger self. And you see, my younger self was still growing and still learning. And I had to, and at the same time, I had insecurities of my own that I haven't dealt with. So you see, when you don't deal with your insecurities, you're going to always see it in someone else and it's going to be mirrored back to you. And you're going to find all the negative things to say about that person when in fact you're saying it about yourself. So, you know, it's just so important, like you said, about, you know, who the society or the media to tell you. Yeah, and um, just like you said, about... when I was a teenager, the media had the power, you know, like, like mm -hmm. I was, I was totally insecure about my body, like the way it's, it's, it's very interesting. When I was a teenager, I didn't like my legs because, yes. you know, because like when I was younger, like our teenage time, so, so I'm 36 now, so, so my teenage time. What? You are? <laughs> Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so I was born in 84. And oh, when I was a teenager, like when I was 14, uh -huh. the, the beauty standard was very thin size zero K moss or like mm. Baywatch, like super skinny, but then these fake boobs, you know, mm. but, but this curvilicious started yeah. with the hip hop with Beyonce. I like big butts and I cannot lie, like, yeah. like, like the hip hop and then JLo. So, yes. so when I was very young, you know, it started that the curves were about to be beautiful, but it was not like today. Yes, that is very, so that's, I, I think, I think there is a, 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 you know, a revolution of how we see women going on. Like we see, I don't know if you know the artist Lizzie. Lizzie, oh. um, yeah, Lizzie, you know, she goes out and she goes in bodysuit when she dances. She's and she, you know, there are not a lot of women. Not every woman is born to lose weight like they yeah. think. Because yeah. it could be your body structures, it could be your genes. And, you know, she goes out there on stage and she embraces who she is. And yeah. people always are, is always body shaming her. And, you know, recently I also, I was watching a movie called Hitman. And I saw the model, I think she, she's from the Ukraine, maybe, um, Olga Karolenko. Mm -hmm. and, and she, you know, she's very thin. She's always been thin. She's a model, basically, from forever, from a long time ago. 
And yeah. people, she posted a picture of herself, and then everyone was saying, "Oh, you look so skinny," and you know, "Why you look so skinny?" And I'm saying, you know, and she had to post something saying, "I, I'm getting tired of people saying how skinny." Whatever you I'm, do, not, always yeah. find something to say. This is too much. Yes. This is this is not enough. You know, like you yes. too skinny, you too fat, you too mm -hmm. this, you too that. You yes. are almost, you know, like. Her, her butt is too small. Her butt is too big. Yeah. Her stomach doesn't look too flat. You know, it's just so much. We always like um try to project to other people because I of have, we're not happy with ourselves. Exactly. Like I have been body shamed like a while ago because my boobs are kind of small. You know, mm -hmm. and um and 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 I was just thinking like wow like what is what is going on with people and like the people who know me you know so so i don't wear makeup since almost five years now since four and a half oh, wow. good so, <laughs> yes so i t so i'm totally going the all natural everything you know yeah. so so i i went vegan about mm. four and a half years ago and and at the same time i quit wearing makeup because i was working in a burger restaurant and because the air was so greasy yes i wanted to just wash my face with cold water in between the shifts you know mm. <laughs> and then i realized <laughs> that it's that it's easier when i don't wear makeup so 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 then i was just like i don't i don't need the makeup and then i was just like i don't need the dairy i don't need the meat i don't mm -hmm. i don't need these 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 things you know like why why can't i just embrace my naturality and mm -hmm. if i got hair or not here yeah, like wherever and then when i was working at this waxing salon and this is a topic that goes totally down the rabbit hole I realized the way that women like 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 men also but especially women think that it looks better when you like shave everything off you know mm -hmm. like like the hollywood waxing you know yeah. that is like connected to the porn industry also and i also believe that it is connected to pedophilia and stuff but this mm -hmm. is a topic this 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 would totally like like ban the whole life and then we'll go to go into another direction <laughs> so i so I this, life, life, this life this life is open um you know i always try to have have an open mind with the conversations that flow on this live and you yeah. know it's it's up to the audience if it's they want to stay in one <laughs> yeah yeah i mean, yeah, like, I mean so you know there's a lot of significance as to why we do things that we don't realize why we do it do it there's symbolism in it and you know and, you and, when was, and when i was working there you know and mm -hmm. and the women were telling me kind of like yeah like can can you please remove all the hair because i i want to look young and fresh like a girl so a grown woman mm. is telling me that she loves to look young and fresh like a girl and um there is this tv show called californication with this uh, i know it but, but i have not watched it david the company i think david is in that the company. Yeah, and, yeah but and, i have not watched it moves, and he moves from new york to los angeles and mm -hmm. then like like because be because he's having this this sex drugs rock and roll lifestyle you know so 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 he was kind of like um dating women and then he realized that all of them are shaved you know like yeah. like like having no hair at all and this tv show is you know like from back in the days yeah, so yeah, it was kind of cool back then you know yeah. and then he was like dear hollywood please leave at least some hair just a little that i know that the woman that i'm sleeping with is a grown woman and not a girl and, <laughs> and i was talking to men that is funny. my daddies you know like who had mm -hmm. to like change the diapers of their girls and they were telling me also kind of like i don't know if i like that so thinking about body hair and like pubic hair mm -hmm. So then like this goes down the rabbit hole there is this topic <laughs> there is this it's called hollywood regret have you mm. ever heard about hollywood regret no i have not <laughs> hollywood regret happens <laughs> when you get waxed too much uh -huh. in your 
private zone, you know, okay. like your pubic hair, like you get it waxed and you get it waxed because the more you wax it, the less hair you have. Well, yes, makes sense. <laughs> you know, like it gets thinner and light, uh -huh. you know, like, like the color uh -huh. is, is not so dark anymore. So, mm -hmm. so like, like, so the more you wax it, the less hair you have. And then women, suffer under this Hollywood regret because they are missing their bush. Mm. But they don't have the chance to get it back because it's gone, be because they have got it waxed too much. So they start to get uh, depressions because they are, you know, like they are missing this because they want to have the freedom to look like a grown woman again. Wow. So these are topics that I've never thought about until I started to research them. Wow. So I didn't even know that. This is very interesting. So the fact that they've shaved off the hair on their pubic region. Not shaving, waxing. Wax when you it. shave it, it yeah. comes back. But when you yeah. wax it, like you kind of like kill the roots and then it's gone. Yeah. One so that you know? psychologically affects them about wanting to become mature again. So, so some women go, go to doctors and ask for hormones or, uh -huh. or, or try, you know, so there is this actress called, um, Kate, in the, this, this one that was playing in Titanic, what was her Kate name? Winslet. Kate Winslet, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. she was playing another role, like in German, it's called Der Vorleser, The Reader, I don't know, like from mm -hmm. whatever, it's, it's a Hollywood movie. And it and it plays like um, long long time ago and 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 there was this nude scene where mm -hmm. she needed to have a bush because mm -hmm. it plays like in the twenties thirties I 20s, don't know yes. but because she doesn't have the hair she needed to like they needed to uh, do these uh, um, fake hair mm -hmm. you know and 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 to me it's 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 pretty interesting because. Um, because I am connecting it to political um, things, mm -hmm. I, um, I started to um, do this activism saying that because we are living, wow, this is really, this, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make long story short. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> so when you are brown or when you are black, you are uh -huh. kind of exotic in the white world uh -huh. that we are living in. Even though this world that we are living in is, is, is having all the colors because, you know, like yeah. we have all the colors all around us. But yeah. the system, the, the, the television, the radio, like, I, I don't need to tell you. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. But I would like for you to share with the audience because, you know, yes, so, I feel like we're educating people here about the importance of, you know. And this goes all around yeah. the globe. So when I was in Iran, the place that I was born into, it is mm. the so-called Middle East. I mm. was there and um, we were at these beauty places, you know, kind of like where, where they get their hair removed, for example. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to pluck my eyebrows and I was like, no, I don't, I, you know, like I do it myself. And then they were looking at this hair. Yes. This so-called baby hair. Yes. Okay. So this is body hair also. Body hair is not only having hair on the legs this yes. is also body hair that is a topic yeah. yeah so when i was there they they were asking me why i don't get it removed really because if i would get it removed it would look more clean this is interesting i've never heard that you could remove your <laughs> baby hair yeah. and this, this is in iran this is in iran middle eastern people like the okay. iranian the Turkish, the Arabic people, okay. like Iraq, Syria, maybe, you know, like mm -hmm. these, these, like, and because they are using makeup and stuff, mm. they are more happy when they don't have the facial. So, so lots mm. of women, even though they don't need it, but because they are using the makeup and the powder and stuff, they like it when, when even like all of this facial hair, you know, yeah. like this here is all removed. And when I was there and they were asking me, you know, like why I don't want to get it removed, I was just like, why should I? 
I mean, that's, you just opened my eyes to something. I didn't even know that was possible. Like people. Were when I was talking to yeah. Shayna and we were talking about this baby hair, because yeah. I thought that because she is Afro-Caribbean, I yes. thought, you know, and I didn't know that when you are like there and you don't have like the baby hair like that easy to to make like a special yes. and, and they they get um how 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 can i say like like mobbing bu bullied yes bullied. Bullied? Yeah, in the as you said the afro-caribbean kind yeah. of culture the baby hairs is a good way for you to show the lining of the side of your hair if you don't have that then it's considered like you know a, like it's wrong if you don't have hair there so it's the funny i hear a different perspective where they're trying to shave it off so it's yeah it's, that is really different to hear and i've never i never knew that you know you know so I, you see every culture has different ways of how they interpret things and what how i realized is because um so so these countries kind of like india look at bollywood you mm -hmm. know so 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 these cultures i guess india is more known in the west for for kind of like being from 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 this part of asia you know because iran mm -hmm. and india is having lots of things in common and when mm -hmm. you look at their actors and stuff so what i've realized long story short is because we are in this um whitewashed world that mm -hmm. even immigrants who are not uh, having the roots from the places where they are living in the first world, you know, mm -hmm. um, they become whitewashed. Very true. And then they are not proud of their roots. And to me, hair is also stands for roots, you know, mm -hmm. like when you can embrace your natural hair. Yes. You Very know, true. and this yeah. also stands for body hair and body mm -hmm. hair is also if it's your eyebrows, Frida Kahlo, she was killing it with her eyebrows and, and her mustache. I mean, like this was a dope statement, you know, <laughs> and, and now to me, it's um, so I have I have some some friends because I because I'm living in Germany and they are, you know, like they don't struggle with the body hair and mm -hmm. they don't struggle with, with being exotic uh, at all mm -hmm. because, because they are Germans living in Germany, long story short. Mm -hmm. And, and I like, I've realized that sometimes they, they, when I am, when I'm telling them that they are privileged with having not these problems, then they are mad at me when I'm telling them that they are privileged. Mm -hmm. So communicating about the struggle, if you're having more or less or darker or stronger, or, you know, like body hair, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a little bit like, like, like with, with uh, the, the skin color also, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. you could totally compare it because mm -hmm. like, because like when you blonde and yeah. you're white, and your hair is is so light and you don't mm -hmm. even see it mm -hmm. so um you don't have to think about removing it or not because you know like it's it's not even worth talking about this yeah. means that you are in the privilege of not even ha having the need to talk about it mm -hmm. and i don't mean it in a bad way but then i'm not really blonde and struggle it's, it's... with it it's it's funny because when you mentioned you know if you're Caucasian because you do have albino Caucasians who mm -hmm. do struggle with hair you know um, insecurities because their hair is you know white most of the time when you're albino when you suffer from albinism your hair is white and you have a lot of hair pigmentation that is also white on your skin so they also suffer to you know. Um, I'm, talking about the Caucasian, the, I'm talking about the Caucasian albinos versus, yeah. you know, the, the black albinos, because there is a difference sometimes, you know, how it's perceived in different cultures about, you know, here and what you look like and whatnot. And, and it, you know, we are, we have to get past our eyes, exactly. beyond our eyes. 
we have to get beyond our eyes about how we look at people, how we perceive people. Because yeah. the very first thing that we see and we judge, and a lot of the judgments that's out there is because sometimes Hollywood and in when it's we see Hollywood. In, in movies, we Thank have a you. perception of people based on what we've watched. And what, that's why it's important to be careful what you're watching because you are subconsciously, you know, forming beliefs if you're not conscious or aware that you're doing that. <laughs> and the next time, you know, you could be watching a movie and you see someone and, and you know, you see someone in a certain way and, you know, maybe it was just like, you know, it's just a movie. But people don't understand that movies do imprint on you. They do. Because what's that's going to happen when you go into real life and you see something, it's going to automatically trigger a memory from that movie that makes you connect to that person in real life. And then all of a sudden, you're kind of like, mm, I, I remember watching that movie. I wonder if, you know, this person is right by the way they have their hair, or the way they have their, you know, their fingers look a little bit weird, their toes or whatnot. You know, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'm going to say that. And so we have to learn to just um, learn to appreciate others for what they look like, regardless of skin color, regardless of, you know, how long their hair is, how short their hair is. And I, I can say for myself, a lot of the times I've always been teased about my hair being short. <laughs> I, yeah. you know, it's funny because my hair may be short, but I'm not short of common sense nor smartness yeah. or intelligence. So yeah. whatever I have on my hair has nothing, or my head has nothing to do because hair can always grow. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's <laughs> but intelligence is something that's earned is something that you go after you know people are so caught up with what they look up on the outside that they forgot is, to work on what's the inside exactly yeah. it is it is it is totally this 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 roomy india Ari uh, quote it is i yes. am i am not this hair i am not the skin i am i am the soul that lives within like, oh yes i remember i commented on that i remember when exactly. i and it was from roomy Rumi, the poet, yes, who and, actually and, said that. <laughs> and India, in, India was singing it. And it is like, like when you get to a point when you like realize, just like you say, look at it from the big picture and mm -hmm. take your power back. So, mm -hmm. so in the beginning, you realize, okay, like even though I am intelligent enough and I realize all of this, like the more you focus on self-love, the less mm -hmm. you care about what the media, what other people, strangers, whoever, close people, you know, like whoever it is, the more you start to love yourself unconditionally mm -hmm. with all your perfect imperfections, with mm -hmm. your flossomeness, you know, like mm -hmm. when you realize I am still beautiful even when I don't have my eyebrows perfect or, mm -hmm. or, or if my hair is short or long, or mm -hmm. like I don't know, like if I'm having more or less here and there, like who mm -hmm. cares? I am so exactly. much more than my physical appearance, you know, like this mm -hmm. is so superficial, but we've all been there. We have all been there that like if it has been in our teenage times or like if we have been like maybe having a bad day and you know, like whatever. So I realized with this body hair don't care movement because I was just doing it and I needed to embrace it, you know, and, you know, like owning it and walking around like that to my work yeah. on the streets. And this, this, this was such a body liberation and, you know, like it inspired people and they inspired me back and we're all inspiring each other. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this crazy journey that we are experiencing right now here on planet earth in crazy times like this long story short because then i had people asking me masa like you are so much more intelligent than that why are you doing a, only a body hair don't care what you know like there are more more important things and they didn't know that i am connecting it too you know because it goes down the rabbit hole and to yeah. me it goes it is connected to hollywood and mm -hmm. pedophilia also because mm -hmm. people are desensitized when it comes to making young children 
you know mm -hmm. like sexual like mm -hmm. like like when you when you see you know like like what they are showing on netflix or amazon prime you know like totally yes. the like cuties i i did hear about netflix you know cuties and whatnot <laughs> and 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 you know the I just actually read something last night that they lost a lot and of um, I am, subscriptions. And you know, like, of I, am, I am trying to connect this also with Mother Nature also because mm -hmm. the, so, so since a few centuries, the patriarchy that we have, you know, like mm -hmm. with the uh, colonizations and killing, you know, like raping Mother Nature, indigenous people being connected to Mother mm -hmm. Nature, you know, yes. like, like 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 this toxic masculine energy that is suppressing the feminine divine divinity you know mm -hmm. so uh going back to like being a high priestess in the making because mm -hmm. you know like connecting to mother nature and you know mm -hmm. like being a spiritual being a mystic so i am i am trying to stay humble and this is this is a part this is why this uh, body liberation connected to this confidence boost that is happening through the body hair don't care back in the days i was one of those who was judging uh people showing themselves with too much skin you know because i was always more the lauren hill person and i still mm -hmm. am you know mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. to me like the way that lauren hill was spread in truth in such a beautiful goddess you know like way yeah, so classy one. you know like <laughs> yeah. i like i will never understand how how people are choosing a Beyonce over Lauren Hill, you know? Like I am Team mm. Lauren, and you can say whatever you want to, you know? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so, so, Team Lauren here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So so I was one of those who was thinking like a woman shouldn't use her her, you know, like her, to express herself. Her being attractive. Yeah. Because, you know, like she, she, she can be intelligent and reach people until I realized that we are living in a, in a world that is so fucked up superficial mm -hmm. that when, so now I am trying to do this crazy balance of being spiritual mm -hmm. And at the same time, this social media thing with embracing authenticity, my body, you know, like, mm -hmm. like, you know, so, so I love myself with all my perfect imperfections with the hair or not. So I would have never posted pictures before the way that I do now, if I would have not experienced the body hair don't care. Yes. I mean, it's it's like a domino effect. It starts it with one thing and then you lead to something else and all of a sudden you're just really, you know, embracing yeah. who you are. Now, I, 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 I say kudos to you and Shana because, you, and, you know, you, you, Shana and Jill, you know, always, you know, ep, ep, you're epitome of what it means to be a goddess and you're always out there just, what you know, us already. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> just showing yourself and just say, you know what? It, it is, it's just, you have to look beyond what you're seeing in the picture. It's all about expressing who you are. And, you know, the three it of you do so well. And, you it know. Is, it, is, it is pretty overwhelming, to be honest. Yes. I can imagine. Like, you're putting yourself out there. <laughs> yeah. So, so. So I so I'm in touch with uh, with my Baba, like a chief priest from from Nigeria, at, like mm -hmm. uh, almost every day. And mm -hmm. um, I was asking him a while ago because he is, you know, like he's my guru. He's my shoulder to lean on. He's my person, you know. So mm -hmm. I was asking him, I was like, so Baba, when I'm a high priestess in the making, you know, and what if I would like show, show some skin being a woman, you know, and then mm -hmm. like, what are your thoughts on that? You know, like, mm -hmm. because I was, I was really cautious. Like, I, I, not like, I was like, very curious, you know, I wanted yeah, to see yeah. How 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 a Baba person was, and then he was like, "Yeah, it's better when you don't do that," you know, because he's <laughs> he's he's conservative and stuff. And yes, I was like, yes. And because, like, I always do what I want to, you know. Like, yeah. I I don't listen to people when I when I don't want to. So <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, but what about the Oshun story?" Mm. So. Oshun, she was having, you know, like, 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 she's, she's this deity in the Yoruba, and she was yes. having sweet waters, 
And yeah, that's yeah. what I'm telling him because like I am learning, you know? So, mm -hmm. so, so I am doing my research. This is why I'm saying in the making because mm -hmm. I'm still almost in the, you know, like it's kind of like an apprenticeship that is happening from the divine through channeling and from learning from him and stuff. I, and, and it's so important you, keep, you say in the making because what I believe, I believe that we are all high priestess within Mm -hmm. So when we stay in the making, it's like we're becoming that self. But I feel like we're unleashing what's already there. So that's why when I say you're already an high priestess, I think that part of yourself is already there. It's been suppressed for so long, but now you are unleashing it because it's, it's the time. It so, is the time. Like yeah. I am, I am kind of like overwhelmed uh -huh. by by this awakening the goddess within, awakening the high priestess within. Because mm -hmm. it's it's a very powerful um, journey. It is a very um, you know like this overwhelming. I know it. <laughs> I you know, know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. And it's really about living in your authenticity, which you know people will think you're crazy and people will start saying all kind of things but the more you li you become liberated from within the more you don't care what other people is like who, your opinion doesn't matter if it's not benefiting me in any way right yeah. and i can tell I'm you <laughs> and i'm telling you like i've seen my life transform in the last three years because i've been so more so much more authentic than i ever have been i am so connected in so many ways i mean i've written books I've spoken, you know, I, I'm such a shy person. I've always been shy. I'm yeah. on stage speaking to an audience of thousand people. Like, when did this happen? How did this happen? And yeah. it's all because you're learning to connect with the goddess within. And, and I really love that. Because like, because, like <laughs> yeah. when, I, when I was listening to you, like, like the, the sessions that yeah. you get, you know, like on, on Zen Kesha retreats, it is really, and this is, I think, this is why I am still so cautious to use this to say I am a high priestess in the making yeah. because now I'm going to use a word that is like a little bit crazy to some people. Like when, when we are preaching, you mm -hmm. know, like this word preaching has always been seen very religious. Yeah. And I don't see myself being religious. I see myself being spiritual and I see mm -hmm. myself channeling. So when you were preaching, you know, mm -hmm. I was just mm -hmm. like, wow, like, it was it was just you know like totally like feeling like home when someone is connected so much to the divine and and yeah. and is sharing these channeled messages like this is such a sacred place mm -hmm. and i am still learning to do this like i know that this place where we are right now is the same mm -hmm. thing yeah and i yes. appreciate it <laughs> and i am learning to i am learning to talk and to preach even when I'm not having my people around me, because this is a crazy time that we are experiencing. Mm -hmm. And I am learning to embrace this high priestess, the goddess within, because this world is so superficial. Mm -hmm. I am realizing that like, even like connecting the sacred priestess, you know, yes like channeling the mess even even with music with sensuality also yes, taking yes. away this judgment you know like why 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 should a woman be like like be ashamed of her beauty and her sensuality why why should i hide it because other people are having dirty thoughts and sexualizing something yes. that is so sacred mm -hmm. you know and that is very true very very true and you know we are in an era right now um what i like to call it the rise of the divine feminine it because, is. and it's not to say we've been in our masculine energy for so long it's long. not to say that the divine feminine rise is gonna outpower the divine masculine is that we're bringing it back into balance we need the balance so we, yeah we need to bring it back to balance because you know, we are always on the go. And if this pandemic has all, it taught any of us anything, slow the hell down. Yeah. Slow down. Slow your thoughts down. Slow your body down. Slow the way you connect to others down. We are so much always on the go. And, um, you know, and it's also 
allowing us to be who whatever we want you know it's i don't know if you've seen so many different things on the internet where people just come to zoom meetings however it's because we're so tired of being dressed up and being pretty up with makeup and every single day we have to do makeup be pretty and all these things we don't even most of us i'm sure a lot of us haven't shaved yeah. our legs since that February. yeah <laughs> yeah I, I, <laughs> I know. Like we must didn't even shave our legs since February. Even with summertime came around, we just like I ah, no. You know, it's it's just it, it allows us to just be free. It's just like you know, this is the best thing price. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, someone, I said that to someone, and they were like, "I don't know how this is a blessing." And I said, "Well, every you know, for you maybe not, but." It, 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 perspective is everything. You have to put things into perspective when it looks chaotic. And understood that, and, and and this world needed a change. Yeah, we are a, a so, major transformation in all levels, all levels. So exactly. So when people are saying they want to go back to normal, what is normal? Like what I am more like. Yesterday, I was really having a moment. Yeah. Because um, my cousin and I, we wanted to go to the grocery shop. Yeah. And then these police guys, they they come towards us and are telling us that we have to put on the mask mm. on the street. On oh. the street. Like really? Outside. Not, mm -hmm. not in the not inside, yeah. So, so I was like, what? And then they were like, yeah, this is rule. And I was like, what? Since when? Yeah, since the weekend, I was like, really? But we outside. So these, these police officers, they are looking at me and they are waiting for me to react because they are telling me that I have to put on the mask. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe in the mask. I know that I am the minority. I know that in a room where there are 100 people, it's possible that there are 99 people and telling me that I would be wrong, you know? But I mm -hmm. totally believe in the freedom of thinking, freedom of opinions, freedom of speech, like whatever it is, you know, like mm -hmm. you do you, you do mm -hmm. you. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so I was having this moment yesterday because they are, they are taken away like, like, like freedom from us. But this is again, a topic that goes down the rabbit hole because mm -hmm. you're not, you're not allowed. So many topics go down the rabbit, rabbit hole, but we'll keep it conservative for the viewers. <laughs> Exactly. So, so um, what I've realized is that mm -hmm. we don't have time to lose, long story mm -hmm. short. Mm -hmm. So I see myself as a free thinker, free spirited person, philosopher, you know, like I am skeptical when it comes to things that, you know, like I am totally emancipate yourselves from mental slavery, none but ourselves can free our minds. <laughs> How perfect. And I'm like dressed in like <laughs> Rastafarian colors. <laughs> I love that. Saying, love I love that, you know, I, that's one of my favorite, um, you know, songs. Because every time when I feel like I'm not being who, authentic, um, that song always pops in my head, you know. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Yeah. And I just start like snapping my fingers and I'm like, yes, Bob. Yes. Yeah. Speak it out. Because so much of us are so caught up in, you know, mental cages. Mental cages. And it's up to us to liberate ourselves. No one else can do that for us. We have people out there who can guide us to the path, but it's up to us if you want to follow through or not. So, yeah. you know, um, thank you so much, Masa. I feel like this topic has really it's taken different turns, different ways. There's so much more to delve into, but we're kind of limited on time. Yeah. And um, But I just want to thank you so much for taking the time out to be thank here. You. And thank, thank you, so everyone, for joining in. I see some people are still joining in. Thank you, everyone who, you know, stayed and whatnot. Thank you so much, Masa, High Priestess. Oh, yeah. I, I, high Priestess. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of the in the making and just say High Priestess because that's what I feel that you are. And so I just want you to know that. Wow. Yeah, so, I, I, have to learn, <laughs> I have to learn to accept yeah. it, I guess. I'm getting yeah. there. <laughs> yes. 
So thank, thank you. you so much, Martha. Thank you. I love you, sis. Thank you. Let's like, 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 we're going to do another one on my side maybe soon. Oh, absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. <laughs> to it. And then, and then we continue with, you know, like whatever. Look at yeah. The uh, uh, yeah. I, it's a flow through conversation. I'm shy you. with that. You know, like you were saying that you would be shy and I'm sitting over here like, is she? I mean, like, I know what you mean, you know, like I have mm. this shyness about myself, but it still takes courage to do these things, you know, yeah. I mean, like, you yeah. you have written your books you are you are you are talking to people being an inspirational speaker you know like going live you know regularly so 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 you are how how do you say slaying your 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 dragons also right yeah i am slaying my demons or dragons as you may say. yeah slay my demons but you know what i tend to try to take my the thing is the reason why we are so shy because we always put ourselves in the mix of it. We have to remember that we're connected to everyone. And there's someone out there who needs to hear something from us. And I have to put myself out of that middle portion of it and put myself yeah. beside other people and say, you know what? It's not about me. It isn't. It's this about is, this, Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> this is a very, very good point that you are saying because mm. I am realizing that I can't afford to be shy anymore. Mm -mm. This is why this confidence boost is so important yes. to let go of everything that is hindering me to step into my own life because we mm -hmm. are in dark times and yes. we need to shine all of us together, you know, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. just like you say, like we all got messages, we are all channeling and mm -hmm. the more we are doing it, you know, at the same time with each other, for each other, you know, like it's, it's, yeah, yeah. we, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. I feel like for myself, I have no option. Like, I don't drive this body anymore. That old Terry that used to be afraid of people and didn't speak her truth. I don't drive this body anymore. God drives this vessel and God is the one that's propelling me to speak to people. So I definitely have no choice here. Because when you're dri driven by the divine, there is no time to be thinking about who what anyone else has to say there's no time for any of that you yeah. have to remember that you're connecting with your purpose yeah. and what society thinks about what you have to say or what you have to do just remember you only need to have one ear you know you need to have one person listening to you that's all it is one person to listen to you True. and you know it's so funny because last night i checked on my the status of my book on amazon yes. mm -hmm. and i thought i wasn't doing well and i wasn't giving myself enough you know um, I should say, you know, celebrating. I wasn't celebrating what I've accomplished so far. Yeah. And I don't do much of that. And we don't do much of celebrating where we've Pretend come to. some credit and be proud yeah, of Yeah, we proud. need to give ourselves more you. credit. <laughs> yeah. We need to give ourselves more credit for where we are. And down, I mean, we want to be humble, but don't downplay your greatness. Exactly. Do not yeah. downplay your greatness. Preach this. Everyone on this live, everyone around there is great in some way or another. And you're going to find that when you connect to yourself. Because yes. the divine is flowing through you in so many powerful ways. And you have ideas flowing through you every single second of the day. Absolutely. And if, and if, you, don't it, if you don't let it pass through you, it's just going to just, you know. In the morning, it's just you know, like, I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Like, if I would, like, use everything, you know, like, I, I open up my eyes and I could, like, have 10 podcasts a day and 20 videos at the same time, you know? Yeah. And then I'm just Jump like... Jump on it. That's what, that's what attaining self-confidence is. This is the topic of today, you know? We, we went from redefining body image to attaining self-confidence. Self this is what it's about. And your, your, your higher self, soul, spirit, source, whatever you want to call it. Everybody has different names Myself, for it. Yeah. Whatever you connect to within, God, it's important that you remain connected with that because it's going to continually guide you to where you need to be. And don't question it. It, it may make no sense to your ego mind, but it makes perfect to your, sense to your soul. So that's, you know, that's how I always do things. I tend to not, um, you know, I used to care what other people say, but I don't care anymore. I'm, <laughs> I, I don't care. Like, you can we say whatever you want about me. I don't care. Yeah, I, I just don't care. And 
I care about people who are, you know, who are uplifting me. I that's what I put my attention to. To people yeah. who are uplifting me and people who inspire me to grow and become more. I don't care much for people and you know who put me down. And the people who put me down, I actually clap them because you're actually helping me go higher and higher too. So yeah. either way, it doesn't yeah, matter. And I'm, and I'm <laughs> learning to to forgive them at the same time and just like you say i am i'm thankful also you know mm -hmm. like it's an interesting um reflection mm -hmm. and then just like you say and then when i don't feel the vibe i'm just like i'm out you know yeah. like, i don't like that but thank you you do you you know like you want to be on a low frequency yeah. <laughs> that's your choice bye yeah, yeah exactly and then they'll re they'll meet you there They'll meet you there one day, right? You just yeah. and and that's the importance of continue to elevate your mentality, elevate your mindset. Um, and the most key important thing, once you're elevating, do not look at people who are not there yet as oh, you know, they're low vibration. I try not to do that because I feel like I was once there, you know, I was, I was once there. And those uh, some people, and we don't want to put that on other people. We have to understand that. Everyone is at a stage in their journey and then they're going to wake up when they need to, right? And it's no, just that's like, true. we that's should what always... they say. Pick them up yeah. where they are, right? Yes. And be remember patient. that... Yeah. And this is why it's important to be yourself because you may be inspiring those who are not ready to shine their light yet. And this is why it's so important that you don't judge them. You don't yeah. judge where they are in their journey. And yeah. you... Because they're, they're you. They're, you know, you were there. They, yeah. they are all connected in so many ways. And That's if true. we continue to embrace that and see that, you know, what a world we live in. What a world. But unfortunately, we don't live in this world. We, there's a balance here. The universe is a balance. It's, it's, it's you know, the yin and the yang, the dark yeah. and the light. It, it's, yeah. it's how it is. And we have to accept that's how it is, unfortunately. And yeah. fortunately, because you can either choose to be in the light or choose to be in the dark. And that's yeah. just, yeah. Yeah. And this is why art is so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I felt like we were saying bye a couple of like, the topics just went so many different oh, ways. <laughs> we definitely have to have another live with you because there's so much things we can talk about here. We can. You know, like I was, I was just thinking about how beautiful it is because you love channeling music also. And this, yeah. this could be a topic for a whole live hour, you know, like just yeah. talk about oh, channeling music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, there, there is comments here. Let me see. Um, Thank you all that, for being here. That was a good topic. Thank you so much, Amin. Um, Miss Mia Moore, thank you, beautiful goddesses, for sharing. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you so Namaste, much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to end the live here. And thank you very much again, Masa. What a powerful topic. I'm so glad we did this. I'm so me glad you said that your comfort zone and you know express who you are you're just, just such a beautiful light being and i can't wait it's for all of us yes <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> i can't wait for you know more of yourself to show and you continue to do more of your lives because the world needs you and you're such a divine goddess okay Need yes. that. <laughs> thank take you. care Martha. thank I you thank you thank you love you sis Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye wow 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 what a powerful topic i really love conversations when we're talking about you know expressing who we are authenticity loving our body loving ourselves not living up to the social stigmas of how we are supposed to dress how we are supposed to look how long your hair is supposed to be how, you know, light your skin's supposed to be. We need to get over all of that right now. We are, seriously. You know, you're beautiful just the way you are. Just remember that. Whenever you look in the mirror in the morning and you look at yourself, just say, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Okay. Um, Amin, you want, I want to talk. <laughs> Tune in next week, Amin. And if you also want to see more of my videos, you can also check all my videos on Instagram and YouTube, Terry Shaw Inspires. You can also purchase a copy of my book, The Power of ABCs, on Amazon. 29 
reviews to date. 29 reviews to date, all five stars. I'm so grateful, so thankful. There are reviews from all across the globe. And thank you so much. Thank you all for tuning in. See you next week. Bye.